my brothers and sisters, my sisters and brothers. <laughs> I am a man, but I stand with the women. I am a man, but I will stand for the women up in the Senate when that bill comes up. I am a man, but if we don't win there, I will stand with you in the streets. I am a man, but I will stand with you in whatever you decide to do, whether it's in the streets or not, until justice comes. I am a man, but I really want some more women in the Alabama Senate and in the understand because I'm a man what this decision means in the way you know, the way you understand that it means but I do understand that when you are responsible you ought to make the decision and you ought to have the choice it, it bothers me that there's not a single Republican woman up in the Alabama Senate there are 22 uh, Republican senators, all 22 are men. And I know some of y'all may not have thought it made any difference whether to have some Democrats or Republicans up there, but if you thought it in the past, I don't believe you'll think it now, and I don't think believe you'll think it in the future. I am a man, but I stand with you until the very end, and, 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 and you... And I'm willing for you to make the choice of how I stand with you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Sanders, my fellow Talladega College alum. Now I want to bring up one of our student leaders because we we know some of us here, this bill isn't going to affect your reproductive choices because some of us aren't still of reproductive age, but there are a lot of young people in this state that have a lot of years ahead of them and they need to make sure that we're standing with them to make sure that their access to health care services are protected. I want to bring up Amanda Reyes from the University of Alabama. If you're a young woman, yell for me. If you were once a young woman, yell for me. Young women need health care. And abortion is necessary reproductive health care for women. One in three women in the United States will have abortion, uh, abortion by the time they reach 45 years of age. And every year, 58% of the women who receive abortion services in the United States are women in their 20s. And women are having abortions in their 20s because we need to finish or start our educations. We need to start and advance our careers so that we can raise healthy, happy families. And we need to have resources in order to raise the children that we already have. If the state of Alabama does not want to improve sex education for youth in Alabama, and if the state of Alabama does not want to uh, increase uh, Medicaid coverage and health care options for people in Alabama, and if the state of Alabama does not want to uh, increase birthing options for women in, in Alabama by allowing them to give birth at home with a midwife, then the state of Alabama doesn't need to tell us what to do with our bodies, with our reproductive bodies, and they need to keep abortions safe, legal, affordable, and most importantly, local. No one should have to drive out of their communities to have a legal procedure done. Thank you, Amanda. Now, our last speaker today, before we go inside and show all of our fierce pinkness to the legislators that are gonna be voting on this bill, is Miss Beth Clayton from Auburn University, and Beth rallies the troops for young um, college Democrats all over the state as the president of the College Democrats of Alabama. Ms. Beth Clayton. Thank you so much for having me today. You know
know whenever you've got an Alabama speaker, you got to have an Auburn one, too. Yeah. So War Eagle to all Auburn fans out there, and hello to all the ladies. Um, we talked a lot today about how it's important that we not let this fight stop today. We can't show up in pink and say well, this is a big deal, and then tomorrow go home and forget all about it. Um, and I've, I've preached to the students the past two years that I've been working with the College Democrats that this is something that we have to take hold of as our generation. You know, it's the, it's the students who are sitting in Greenville. It's the students who were burning their bras and staging protests when we were doing this for the last 50 years. And we're going to keep doing this for the next 50 years. Um, but to make sure that we don't stop, we're hosting a leadership summit. We want to train young Americans and some former young Americans how to be the best activists and leaders that they can be. So I hope you will all join us April 6th, Alabama State, this coming Saturday. I've got flyers with more information. I hope you all join us. Let's not let this fight stop here. We've got Shirley Ann Rawls, the Alabama president for now, is going to be our Women's Caucus leader. She's a great asset to women all over the state. And I hope you all join us on April 6th. Thank you so much. So, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go in and talk to some legislators and let them know that enough is enough and vote no on HB 57. We have lunch over in the corner. You can grab a box lunch. Just FYI, you cannot take food inside of the Senate gallery, and that's where we'll be convening after lunch. So it's a gorgeous day outside. I pray for this weather. I'm so happy. So grab you a box lunch and feel free to eat out here. And then we're going to regroup and all go inside to the Senate gallery where we um, will show our collective power. Thank you so much for coming out. don't know there is a group on Facebook called Alabama Pro Woman Coalition and this is the place where we coordinate things like this and coming to have protests against all the other bills so go to Alabama Pro Woman Coalition I've got a flyer if you're interested but come and join us